Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So today I am going to replace this lamb's ear wreath on my door with a fun bat Halloween fall wreath. The dogs are very excited. <laughs> this is a quick and easy project. It is not hard, definitely beginner level. You can really put it together in 30, 40 minutes. So we're gonna get started and change up the store. All right, y'all, so today I am working on a little wreath. You can use whatever base you like. I got this one from Michael's on sale for Halloween. And then I cut out all the bats with my Cricut, which y'all have been watching. So now I'm going to attach them to the wreath so that I can put it on my front door. I have my one fancy bat, I have some glitter bats, and then I have all these little bats and some of them I'm going to put on strings so that they can kind of fly. And then some of them I'm going to actually hot glue directly to the wreath so that they stay in place. So let's start with this guy because he's the most delicate. He definitely did not cut out very well and I had to kind of patch him back together. burned off part of my finger. I don't think I've done that in a very long time. I accidentally burned myself quite that bad. Now we're going to do a little bit up here so that we can keep the wings from falling. But just a little bit because these wings are very delicate and thin. I would prefer to do this without hot glue because I would like to use this wreath form again. But hot glue is the simplest, easiest, fastest solution. 
and you can always scrape it off. Either use the other side or uh, paint over it, put something else there. So I'm not super, not worried enough to go with option B, which was tie this guy on. Now with these guys that are actually sturdier, I'm only gonna put hot glue in the middle so that the wings can move. And uh, you can just put these bad guys right on without any kind of figuring out. I always like to lay a few of them out first so that I know exactly kind of where they're going. Just makes it easier. Um, cutting all the bats out probably took 30 minutes since I cut them out of all the different materials. So the whole point of this project is quick and easy and fun. We'll see how that goes. I want to put one right over this guy. <laughs> Maybe I'll put him on here so he's flying. Add a few more little ones coming up this way and then I'll add the hanging ones. And you can add some hanging ones down here as well. them on these. It looks like they're flying. They're in the air. Just gotta be careful when you're putting them on these little tiny pieces not to grab the back and glue. Burn yourself like I did with that first one. Basically, don't burn yourself, guys. It's bad for you. I need the string. Maybe I just glue them on. Maybe it's enough. 
I wanted the effect of flying, but this is really giving me that. Giving me everything I wanted. All right, let's add maybe one more little one over here. And then I think we're good. Yeah, I like it. Let's go see how it looks on the door. We can get it to hang on here. The top. And now this is my that It might be easier to hang it and then hang it like that. Perfect. Is that straight? I love it. It's so cute and festive for fall, and it was so easy to make. I wasn't sure about the hot glue, but I think I'll be able to pop these babies right off. Hey, it's just me. The dogs are not convinced. And now it goes with all my moms. I have pretty purple and burgundy moms out here. So it all kind of ties together really fun for fall. I hope you guys liked this project. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I have a few more fun Halloween projects coming up. If you want to see more of the crazy barking dogs, I'm over on Instagram showing them in my stories every day. <laughs> Bye, y'all.